Oh my f***ing god. Well... Hey, this is Peter Weigel from Fig by Fig. A few days ago, Tesla Motors unveiled its newest vehicle, the aptly named Cybertruck. One alleged feature of the truck? Indestructible windows. To prove the point, Tesla Motors CEO Elon Musk instructed an associate of his to throw a metal ball directly at the window. Here's what happened. Sir? Yeah. Oh my f***ing god. Let's try that, right? Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> oh man. It didn't go through. Why did the glass break and what can Tesla do to improve the quality of their windows? Let's find out. To understand why the glass broke and why it broke the way it did, we must first look at the different kinds of safety glass commonly used in vehicles. There are two ways to make safety glass, either with one material layer or multiple material layers. The most common type of single layered safety glass is called tempered glass. It's made by heating glass up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit before rapidly cooling it down to room temperature in a process called quenching. This results in a very strong single layer pane of glass. While tempered glass can shatter, it shatters into tiny pebble-like pieces that are less likely to cause lacerations or deep cuts. This glass is often used in side windows in vehicles. On the other hand, the most common type of multi-layered safety glass is called laminated glass. This consists of two regular panes of glass sandwiching a polymer layer. Because of the polymer layer, this type of glass can crack but does not shatter and is commonly used for automobile windshields. Here's a comparison of a guy breaking tempered glass versus laminated glass. Notice how the laminated glass doesn't break no matter how hard he hits it or how many times he hits it. Now let's look again at how the Tesla glass breaks. It looks a lot like the laminated glass, doesn't it? Although Tesla hasn't released any info on the type of glass they're using, Mr. Musk does say at one point in the show that the glass is a transparent metal glass. This name is a bit of a marketing ploy. There is not really any metal that's transparent at optical wavelengths. However, there are certain ceramics made with metal that are transparent enough for glass windows, the most common one being aluminum oxynitride, or ALON. My guess is that Tesla has built its windows out of laminated glass, except the glass layer is ALON instead of traditional glass. Now, here's why. In this video from the armored glass company Cermet, a 1.6 inch pane of ALON laminated glass prevents a 50 caliber rifle bullet from penetrating through to the test dummy compared with a 3.7 inch thick pane of traditional bulletproof glass. That's a 3.9 inch bullet being stopped by only 1.6 inches of glass. Okay, so we're pretty sure what type of glass Tesla is using for their Cybertruck, and based on automotive standards, we can guess that the window thickness is probably around five millimeters, or about one fifth of an inch. A quick Google search for ALON based glass returns a load of material from properties from Cermet's website as well. Before moving on, it's worth pointing out that the actual glass performed adequately, in a certain sense. The Tesla glass cracked, but it didn't explode inwards where the passenger would be sitting. But obviously what Tesla was hoping to show was that the ball would actually bounce off the window as they tested beforehand backstage in this video. This property of a material to take on a certain amount of stress without breaking is known as its flexure strength. And the flexure strength of ALON glass is specced at an average of about 500 megapascals. Assuming a point stress model for a square material, we can calculate the stress in the material uh, with this equation. The D in this equation is the thickness of the glass, which we've established as around five millimeters. The force is the force of the ball, which for an elastic collision, as shown in the backstage video, is this equation right here. A frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the Von Holzhausen backstage video, he's the guy that throws the ball, puts the time the ball is in contact with the window at approximately 40 milliseconds, after accounting for the slowing factor of the video itself. By observation of the backstage video and some basic kinematics, we find the ball's mass to be around four pounds, the distance to the car to be around four feet, the time of flight to be about 200 milliseconds, 
the impact velocity to be about 26 miles per hour and the impact force to be about 1050 newtons. This puts the stress on the window in the backstage video to be around 60 megapascals, nearly 10 times less than the maximum stress the material can withstand. Even if the ball were thrown at the world record speed for a baseball pitch of 105 miles per hour, the stress on the window would be only about half that of the material limit. So it's clear that the ball should not have been able to break the window, yet it did. So what happened? There's another aspect to glass that can cause it to crack, pre-existing defects. Using the stress we've calculated for the ball thrown by von Holzhausen, we can calculate something called the stress intensity factor as a function of a potential crack length. If the stress intensity factor goes above the fracture toughness of the ALON glass, it will likely fracture. For this calculation, I'm modeling the window as a square two feet on a side. I know the window in the video is not a square, but that shouldn't make a difference in this analysis. The equation I'm using here is for the stress intensity factor in a square piece of glass. Here it is. And when I plot this out, here's what we find. A relatively small crack on the order of one millimeter in length would be enough to cause the window to fracture with the amount of stress induced by the ball von Holzhausen throws. This is small enough that it may not have been noticed by the Tesla staff before the demo. It's also possible that repeated testing of the window beforehand, as in the backstage demo, caused some minor amount of damage to occur in the window. So what are the solutions to this problem? Well, the easiest one is to not throw big metal balls at your car windows. But if folks insist on being able to do so, Tesla could look into playing around with the thickness of their ALON layers versus polymer layers in their windows. They can't really increase the total thickness of the window without really rebuilding the entire door, so that's not a great idea. It's also worth mentioning as well that another possible cause of the initial cracking in the window may have been due to temperature or humidity issues and poor sealing in the window itself. The polymers used in laminated glass can be quite sensitive to water, and if the water weren't sealed properly, then it's possible that water contamination caused degradation to the polymer. That being said, I doubt the Tesla folks would have made this kind of a mistake. Anyhow, despite the window breaking, it still held up better than most side windows, which are made of tempered glass and would have shattered all over the place. The Cybertruck appears to be, by all standards, a phenomenal vehicle. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more content like this, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button below. If you didn't like the video, there's a button for that as well. Comment below if you think this window shattering is enough to prevent you from buying a Cybertruck, or if it's no big deal. You can check out what else is going on over at figbyfig.com. I'll see you in the next video.